Um, so yeah, I made my video about Rondo and his injury, his season-ending injury with the torn ACL. Now, now we have Jared Sullinger out for the whole for the rest of the year, and um, I mean it's tough because he's clearly our best offensive rebounder and arguably our best defensive rebounder. And you know, I mean, he had a good you know year up to this point, so I can't say I'm disappointed. But I think this is what you know. What led him to fall to the Celtics in the draft was his was his not you know he didn't really have durability dur durability um, and that's why a lot of teams you know passed on him. But I mean, I mean we already saw how well the Celtics played without Rondo. But now we have to see exactly how well the Celtics can play without Rondo and Sully. Now, I, I mean, Paul Pierce, though, without Sullinger and without Rondo, Paul Pierce has been playing very good. He's been getting double-doubles, I think, the past three games. He's had a double-double. And as a matter of fact, he had a triple-double against the Heat. So, I mean, Paul Pierce is playing very well. Without Sullinger and Rondo, KG still playing very well. Courtney Lee's playing better in my opinion. Avery Bradley's playing better. Um, Jason Terry's still playing inconsistently. You know, just it seems like everybody's playing better, especially Jeff Green. Jeff Green is playing so much better without Rondo. So much better without Sullinger. He's playing very, very well. And um. This is going to be an interesting experience for the rest of the year. Or should I say experiment. Having no Sullinger, having no Rondo. Seeing if we're going to keep this team intact. Seeing as if we're going to make a trade, a signing. You know, what are we going to do? Are we going to make the playoffs? Are we not going to make the playoffs? Are we going to make the playoffs and make a deep run? You know, so many things. So many, not necessarily options, but so many. What's the word I'm looking for? I can't seem to, I can't seem to think properly since I'm really tired actually. But um there are many different What's oh, I just had the word in my head. Oh, well, whatever. But um you know, I th I think that we can still keep winning games without Salinger without Rondo. But I, okay, one thing I don't understand. I know this is kind of irrelevant, but one thing I don't understand is why we're starting Courtney Lee at point guard and Avery Bradley at shooting guard. Because Avery Bradley used to be a point guard before last year. Why is he playing shooting guard? Like, I, I, I don't understand that. But there's some sort of logic to it, I guess. But, um... I mean... I still think that the Celtics can win games. I still think that the Celtics can do it. Now, one... Now, I think I said this in the Rondo one, too. The Rondo video. But, if you look at one positive thing out of how having Jared Selinger out for the year around this... Like, at this time, he has more time to recover. Because it's better than having him be... Like, like remember Avery Bradley last year in the playoffs? It was game six, I think his last game of the season was against the Philadelphia 76ers, which was a great series in my opinion. But Avery Bradley was injured and he was out for the rest of the series. But um, it's better that, you know, and then he missed part of this season. It's better that we had Jared Sullinger injured like midway through the season as opposed to in the playoffs. So that he has more time to recover. Same with Rondo. But um, yeah, that kind of concludes it. Um, I basically think the same thing as Rondo, except I think that we're going to try and play more aggressively, I guess you could say, on the offensive side, you know, rebounding-wise and trying to attack the basket more. Jeff Green had three dunks today, and he had a posterizer on Nikola, Nikola Vucevic. I think I'm saying his name right. Don't know. But, um, you know, just leave your thoughts and comments and 
all that in the comment section. And um, I'll see you guys later. See you.